What's going on guys, Sertavinci here, back with another video from Fallout 76, been loving the game, I don't know about you guys, I've seen a lot of hate toward it, but I am uh, honestly just loving the crap out of it. Uh, I'm here, bringing a quick little video wanting to showcase an item that I'm not too sure whether or not a lot of people know about, but if not, then I'm going to teach you about it. So, so almost everyone I have played with or come across in this game uh, seems to all have a similar struggle, which is that you have a tendency to run out of stim packs. Uh, early on, I can agree, I did run out of stim packs as well, I had the exact same issue, but I ended up learning about an alternative healing item that is very easy to acquire that you can use instead so you can save up a hefty amount of stim packs. That item I'm speaking about is simply called Healing Salve. It's a craftable item here at the uh, cooking station or chemistry workbench, whichever one you have access to. Uh, it heals for 26% of your health and it only requires three extremely easy ingredients uh, to acquire, which as you can see, uh, one blood leaf one boiled water, and one soot flower. Boiled water is pretty much easily found just wandering around. I'm sure you'll see a bunch of them. They're like the little cardboard looking boxes of uh, water um, that say water on them. Typically they end up being boiled. Sometimes it's dirty, but uh, they're pretty easy, easy to find. Um, another way you can get uh, boiled water is uh, by collecting two dirty waters and bringing them to a cooking station. You also need one wood to turn it into boiled water, uh, but it takes two dirty water to make one boiled water. Uh, dirty water is also a pretty easy thing to acquire. Like I said, once again, just like boiled water, you can find it around the map. Or you can come to your camp, and uh, if you place down a water pump, which I'll show you out here really quick, just like this one, you can either drink from it or collect. Collecting from it will give you one dirty water each time. Um, uh, but do keep in mind that it does actually give you some rads. I'll collect one right now. Uh, on the bottom left, let's see. I ended up gaining five rads for one dirty water. Uh, so one thing you can do is just sit here and collect, 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 and once your rads build up, just use a rad away to get rid of it, as long as you have enough for that stuff. Um, and that's pretty much usually the way I get my boiled water, personally. Alright, so the second ingredient needed is soot flower. It is the blue-budded flowers, just like these. Uh, you can pretty much find them all over the map. You can see I'm right next to my base right now, and I have... Uh, plenty of them out here in the forest. They're usually found in any any uh, foresty areas. You'll find plenty of them. There are other types of flowers around there, but soot flower does seem to be one of the most common flowers you can find out there. And finally, the third item needed is blood leaf. It looks just like this blood colored leaf, uh, and it's pretty much always found along the edges of rivers, as you can see. And once again, my base is right there, so I don't have to go very far to get the ingredients needed for this stuff. Um, but yeah, that's all three ingredients, uh, so we'll move back to our base. So as you just saw, I'm pretty much right next to my base and I was able to find all the ingredients needed, obviously, I've had, with the use of the water pump that I put in my camp. Um, but as you can see, I'm pretty much just up the road from the Overseer's Camp, which you go to pretty much right at the beginning of the game, so you don't have to go in any dangerous areas to find any of these ingredients. Uh, just any foresty areas for the soot flowers, any edges of rivers for the blood leaf, and then boiled water. There's multiple different means of getting it. Um, just up to you whether how you depend on getting it. All right, so some advice I would like to give um, about collecting the ingredients for uh, making the healing salve is that uh, it's a good idea to just simply dedicate some time to doing just that. You know, don't don't run around and be like, oh, hey, there's some, soot. you know, you're doing a quest or whatever, you see some soot flower, pick it. Uh, and then move on with the quest um, because in this game if you go to your aid items where you'll find soot flower and uh, blood leaf they have conditions which degrade over time which means once that condition bar gets empty that means this is going to expire uh, which turns it into uh, I believe a uh, expired or whatever they call it uh, vegetable uh, spo a spoiled vegetable a perfect example right there uh, and at that point, it is useless. So that's why I would say dedicate some time to simply going and specifically looking for soot flower and bud leaves and getting a bunch of boiled water uh, to be able to make this. Another tip for doing this is that if you go into your perks, uh, you might have been lucky at this point. You might have been lucky to get this out of a perk pack, or maybe you just spent the uh, perk on, or you know actually acquired this perk through leveling up. But the green thumb perk under Perception, uh, I ended up getting it through a perk pack personally, so I didn't have to waste a level up on it. Um, but basically, every time you pick a blood leaf or soot flower or any plant, really, 
uh, you get twice uh, the amount. So instead of getting one, you'll get two, which speeds up the process of collecting a bunch of them. Uh, obviously, half the amount of time to get, you know, say, uh, 50 of them. Instead of uh, grabbing 50 of them singly, you, you'll end up only needing to grab 25. Um, this perk also does unlock some ingredients um, or recipes that you might have learned over time. Some of them require that perk in order to be able to craft them, like the water filter, uh, which honestly I have not even bothered to use because I have a water purifier out back, so I have all the purified water I need, so water filters are kind of useless to me, but either way, uh, those are just a couple tips on acquiring the ingredients. All right, so now we're gonna go here to the chemistry station. Uh, you can also, like I said, make it at a um, cooking station. You go down here to healing, healing salve. I'll be able to make three of them because I have three boiled water. Two, three. Uh, and typically, every time I get toward like 10 or 15 remaining, I end up, I, I usually do a lot at a time. Uh, but once I get low, I'll end up doing, getting a bunch more. Right now I have 36. Uh, so it heals for 26% of your health. Obviously that's regener regenerative. It's not instant, uh, but it works just like a stim pack for the most part. It just doesn't heal as much. Um, one thing to do to keep in mind though is I will waste one here just for the uh, to showcase what I mean um, is that uh, on console right on the d-pad is the hot key for using a healing item typically the stim pack um, I'm not sure what it is on PC because I don't play on PC I guess you can probably change it around uh, on PC to whatever you like um, but the hot key for healing if I press right in the d-pad now uh, it says uh, in the bottom left there that I have 130 and it shows the stim pack emblem. I do not have 130 stim packs. I have uh, 81 and if I add the amount of healing self and uh, I have a bug personally that does not show my uh, diluted stim packs but either way actually the stim super stim packs is probably what the other amount is. Um, but so basically the healing salve when you press right on the d-pad for the quick heal uh, it prioritizes the healing salve first rather than a stim pack. So do keep that in mind, especially if you're in a situation where you need to heal a lot quickly. Uh, you might want to use stim packs instead, but if you're someone who wants to save up on stim packs and use this alternative uh, healing item instead, that's obviously the ingredients are very easy to find. Um, uh, the op complete opposite with stim packs, and you need to find the plans for stim packs. You do not need to find plans in order to make healing salve. You can make it right off the beginning of the game. Uh, and it'll definitely help you save up some stim packs for when you actually need them rather than wasting through them and not having anything to heal with, uh, which sucks. But as you can see, because of this helpful item, I've been able to save up quite a few stim packs. Once I said eight, like I said, anyway, 81 of them right now, um, which like I was saying, you can save them for when you actually need them. Um, but anyway, hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, Obviously, I, I would look forward to potentially making more little guides that will be able to help you guys out. Obviously, if you didn't know about this stuff, uh, then awesome. If you did, then you no know, props to you guys for uh, actually taking advantage of it. Hopefully, you guys are, if you knew about it. Um, but yeah, hopefully it helped you out. Hopefully, you guys liked the video. If you did, please leave a like below. If you subscribe for more, potentially more uh, guides just like this one. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Adios.